Okay, let's watch Rylan the Weasel. He looks like a weasel a little bit. No, Sorry. He weaseled Whatever. Himself. You look like a weasel and nobody likes you. <laughs> okay, well. Trish's friendship far. means more oh, to me wait, than. Before, can you pause that? TTT. He canceled the. He's, he erased the first episode of The Sip because the first episode is all about how he wasn't friends with Lizzie, his co host, because she was friends with someone that was mean that he didn't like. That he thought was toxic. Oh, and she stayed friends with Irony him. alert. Yeah, and he's like, I didn't want to stay friends with you. So for four years, we didn't talk because you stayed friends with this person who and was And then toxic. Fa fast forward, he's like, I'm friends with Jeffrey. And I Trish. Can you see the smoke on the camera? Uh, okay, here, I can, I'm ready to put it I think it's in. fine. I think maybe there's just some... Sh yeah. Okay. It just needs some... Here, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to put it, it in. Something. Let me put some peanut butter on it now. It doesn't smell like smoke. I think it's just like steam. I think it's okay. okay. Here, I'm going to put the peanut butter and we're ready to go. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. So, Okay. So anyway, Anything. let's watch. Anyways, so yeah, let's watch. Let's watch the weasel. Uh, Love it extra. Yeah. A, a headlining story on this podcast. I hate that we're a, a podcast that does hot topics, and I've somehow. I was, become, well, I was uh, saying, <laughs> live by the sword, die by the sword, motherfucker. You, that's the how the game works. Trust me. You can't just sit there on the sideline and just laugh at everybody. I mean, bitch, now you're in it. And you did now that you're in it, you disable the comments and likes. I mean, dude, <laughs> own your shit. That's when the tea gets too hot. And he he's like that girl at McDonald's who spilled all over himself and got third degree burns. You remember that? No. Where when was that? Also put the peanut butter on the other side of the butter bread. So when people who didn't know about peanut butter grilled cheese, it's a lot of peanut butter. Used to do this, he would put it on the other side of the bread. Yeah, you see how he died? Oh, he had a heart attack on. I'll definitely have a heart attack. That's how I'm going to die. Screenshot this. When I'm like dead, you can be like, see, she predicted her own death. <laughs> It'll definitely be a heart attack. I can feel it. Well, heart attacks is kind of easy to like Predict. prophesize because you're like, I'm just going to eat cheese. You're like, okay, I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> so you could definitely try to make that happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start owning a Korean fried cheese place. Yeah. Story, and so, so. <laughs> and so far, you're. It's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God bless. I mean, hey, we all got to die, bless. right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway. Do we have a flipper? Actually, we we have to flip it, right? Or you just pick it up with your hands? We need a oh, like a little. No. We need a spatula. Yeah. Can you grab one? Right. So anyway, oh. the guy has the balls to complain. He's doing a tea channel, and when he spills the tea on himself and gets burned, he goes and cries. <laughs> Grow up. Hot topic that I feel I have to address in some sort of way because I've seen I've been flooded on all. He really thinks all elements of social media anyone, regarding he really thinks he's this situation. This. Yeah, also, oh. yeah. Also, who cares? Uh, I mean, with peace and love, Rylan, we want to know what the fuck Shane thinks. Like Rylan the sip. Host of this sip. Am I going too hard? <laughs> Not at all. This is like comical. I'm just like, this was to me, I was just like, are you like, are you an idiot? Like, this is what we want to know what Shane thinks. This makes me like Jay and Jeffrey just be like, this is nothing. Like, what the hell? Like, you're so, yeah. Also, apparently, Shane is sitting in the room while they film. Yeah, he I always heard. is. I was on the sip. I was a guest on the sip. And he just sits in there. Thank you, baby. It's kind of odd. Too. Thank you. It's kind of weird. It's a disembodied hand just putting a spatula on I'm the table. I'm down with it. Yeah, I mean, he also edits, but he knows. I mean, they're like a duo. He probably but that's what I'm saying. It. So Ryland's out there like talking and then acting like Shane isn't there. Like, we want to know what Shane thinks, Ryan. I mean, with peace and love. I mean, what the fuck? Who yeah, are you? Trish is um, mad at us right now. And I guess the only... I'm I'm confused. Yeah. I was taken back no, 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 no. a little no, bit, and I there. understand. Like she's it, it had up. drama with Jeffrey yeah, and Hair by Jay, who oh, has okay. Hair by Jay obviously said horrific things that I don't stand by. I don't support. Obviously, I support Trisha over Hair by Jay. Like, okay, so notice this I've is a really illuminating comment. I support Trisha over Hair by Jay, not Jeffrey. He doesn't support Jeffrey. That's like, of course you support <laughs> Trisha over here by Jay. You just said you don't even know him. When he knows that it's all Jeffrey said to me. Yeah, it, the, whole, the whole issue is Jeffrey. Yeah. It's like, wow, bold stance to make. Dumbass. Followed this man. I don't know this man. I've met him once in passing. Yeah. I've met him once in passing. So, yes, I support Trisha over him. But my whole issue had nothing to even do with Jay. I'm just like, oh, he confirmed what Jeffrey was saying. Yes. Like, it wasn't even who cares. And for the record, and Jay even said this, for the record, Jay didn't say anything bad to my face in Vegas. It was all, and I told him, Jeffrey threw out my Balenciaga. Yes. Jeffrey yes. threw the thing off my hand. So he's like, I don't support things to hear with Jay. He's repeating. It's and like, it honestly, like, the fact that 
I'm so heavily involved with this really does break my heart so because I love it. Trisha so much. Right. Yeah. I consider her one of so my closest friends. We see oh, her more I than I see really anyone besides you because you come it. over it's weekly it's for hot. this podcast. And yeah. I guess at the end of the day, I truly... No. Oh, you don't need to flip. wish oh, need to she flip would have come to me as a I love, friend. By the way, here, she by the way, <laughs> Rylan, this is how much we care about you. I'd rather grill a sandwich on the fucking panini press than listen to your ass drone on and on about. Tri- you know what I mean? Fuck you, Wait, dude. I didn't know this close, so it cooks it at the same time. On yes, the that's side. what a panini press is. No. Yes. I, th- I, th- I thought I had to flip them. You're blown away by this technology. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I know what to what? buy you. This is. I'm gonna buy you a wedding gift. A bedazzled George Foreman grill. Our realtor already gave us one. Not bedazzled. Oh, Who gave bedazzled. you? Who gave you? Our realtor for our our housewarming gift. He got us a panini. I'm sorry. That's a little bit of a ghetto gift for a fucking new, <laughs> like millions of dollar house. Like, what's a panini press? Like twenty bucks. <laughs> well, it was a bougie one. How long does this take? I'm very it's really here. fast. So it's done. No, it's not done. I'll let you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like what you got because his us? commission. He made hundreds of thousands of dollars from that commission. You don't buy panini press. That's what you buy for like a fucking wedding for somebody you don't care about. <laughs> you said you were gonna. Well, I was kidding. I was kidding. Yes. I wouldn't actually buy you that. I mean, it's fine. We actually but don't the, want but, presents for our wedding. We I mean we have enough. Nobody needs to. You could donate to something. Maybe the trans equality to the award. human fund. Seinfeld human? reference. Nobody likes Seinfeld. He's my least favorite. Dude. Uh, literally. Eh, okay, I'm not gonna get into that. I. <laughs> I can't. I'm just going to forget you said that. I'm just going to. So okay excuse me. Are you seriously going to talk Jewish? shit about anyone stereotyping Jewish people? Jewish people no. are like a fetish to you. Is it done? What do you think? The butter's like oh. what? Oh. God. Okay, but even Curb, like, I can't watch because it's just like a little too oh. much. First of all, Curb has nothing to do with Seinfeld, okay? The same guy, right? <sighs> yes, but we're talking about. I don't like it. I can't. I just For the can't. Record, before anyone calls me anti-Semitic, I don't like Friends either. I just don't like any of those shows in New York. I don't like New Yorkers. No offense. Okay. I can't. We're moving on. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Whatever. So let's let's just in this dumbass uh, roll on and this on. This really does break my heart because I love Trisha so much. Shut yeah. up. I you don't love anything Consider her one of my closest chain. friends. We see her more than... I see really anyone besides you because you come over weekly for this podcast. And I guess at the end of the day, I truly wish she would have come to me as a friend if she was hurting like the way that she is. Every time they hung out with me, my birthday, Shane's birthday, all throughout the summer when Shane was getting canceled, they came to my house. And all I kept saying is how... Jeffrey sucked and how I'm so fucking ups- like upset by it. Like, how are you guys still friends? But I, I didn't even judge them for being friends. I was like, okay, they need to get the coin or whatever because they're not going to make videos anymore. And I was like, I wasn't even judging. But like the fact that he's like, she should have come to us. And then when Shane texted me about it, I came to him and he's like, well, let's just forget it happened. Let's just, I don't believe you. What the fuck do you want from me? Yeah, it's like, well, obviously when you told them they didn't take it seriously, which is completely evident by the fact that he says here, we're friends with both of them and they're having a drama. So it's like, what what exactly did you expect her to tell you? You know? Exactly. And for the record, <clears throat> Brylin was like, oh yeah, Jeffrey's mean to me and Morgan. She doesn't give a shit about us. Like he, she, or he only likes Shane. And like, it's true. Like Jeffrey just likes the people. Well, that to are be honest, who likes Rylan? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Honestly, it took me a minute. To I like being a, a bitch now to them. <laughs> I mean, for the record, I really didn't talk to him that much. I talked to him. I talked to Shane. So, I what did he do if you're over at the house? What does Royland do? He's very quiet, which I don't judge. I mean, I oh, he's there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And interesting. Talked they asked me to marry them, me, like, and, and they talked I about it on his it... podcast. Like, I was supposed to marry them. Like, I was like that close oh to God. them. They asked me last year, like, this is insane to me. This is insane. This, and then obviously all the spiral of him talking shit about me throughout the years. I'm, it's insane. I never once said anything bad about Shane, and I like blind. Like, and the reason I'm so vocal about this, I was like, get over it, whatever. The reason I'm so vocal about it is because I was so vocal for him, being like, Shane's a good person, all this. No, Shane's like a piece of shit person, and like, I don't know any of this stuff because I did. I blindly defended him, so I don't know like these other things that were happening. But honestly, he's like a shit person, so I just have to reiterate: I do not defend him. I do not stand by him. He's an actual shit person. I take back everything I've ever said because I thought it was a different person than I knew. Like, he, this is a different person, so maybe he is. I'm not trying to, to reconcile. I mean, at I all? blocked him on everything, so. Oh. Which is good. Respect my <clears throat> boundaries. Don't contact me. Hmm. Think it. I think it should be I more brown. Not. I like it buttery. 
You do? Okay. I'll take it however you like it. Okay. Oh my god, your plate with the crust. I know, it's disgusting. I'm a fucking psycho. So, as you're scooping, I'll, I'll keep playing. Wouldn't have played out on the internet like this. I just am really honestly confused because I see her all of the time. And even after the last time Jeffrey was physically on this podcast, I was at her house and we had a wonderful, loving time. And I understand maybe it's hard for her to express her actual feelings towards Jeffrey to us Bro. or the gravity in which she's feeling feelings towards Jeffrey. So when she I have a hard time expressing how I feel about someone I hate. Can you unplug that, A.B.? The I can do it. <clears throat> um... It's super condescending, the whole thing. I was... Hooded. I wish you would have told me she has a hard time expressing herself. It's like, shut up, dude. I was literally, like, gonna let it go until I saw this, and I was like, this is someone who's supposedly my best for all this stuff like that. How, like, he knows all this stuff. Like, he's so fake. The fakeness is, like, insane to me. It's They're insane. literally doing everything they can to not condemn Jeffrey. To get that paycheck, but guess what? Conspiracy pallets on sale. Everything that Shane has on Jeffrey's site was up 50% off now, so obviously they're trying to cut ties or something. They bought too much shit. That's what happened. Oh, my God. He knows we're oh, specifically God. friendly with Jeffrey. So maybe it's hard for her to, like, ask me to cut him off. But at the same time, Would I you? just. It's I, like, what do you. Yeah, what am I supposed yeah. to say? Don't be friends with him. Yeah. yeah. It's so crazy. But me, I freaking if they don't like someone, I blindly cut that person out of my life. I'm just like, yeah, those people are assholes, too. They're out of my life, too. Like, but they know on so much detail. And then they also Shane saying, I'm scared of Jeffrey. Ryland saying, yeah, Jeffrey's not nice. And then defense. Like, I'm just in shock. But not only did they, they didn't have to throw Jeffrey under the bus to defend me. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, they, the fact that he's like putting it all on me, the blame on me, being like, well, Trisha didn't come to us. Bull fucking shit. Yeah, like, he didn't say This a guy's going thing. down. No one fucking right. cares. You were irrelevant before. Now you're really irrelevant now. Shane's talented. Rylan is just marrying someone who's talented. Okay. Don't you. It's, How do you feel? It's not melted enough? No, it's good. This looks melted. Verdict's out. Whoa. Is that right? Well, I will say, I don't like how it pressed down. I think the flip would have been better on a stove. Oh, the press? Cause mm. it, yeah. But it's good. Okay. You just can't taste the... It flattened it too much. Do you like it with the peanut butter, though? I'm processing. I don't think so. With a little bit of the texture? You don't like it? Mm -mm. Well, you had two bites, so you didn't hate it. Or you're just, like, trying to I want to give it a fair chance. Mm. I'm out. No? Mm-mm. Mm. It's like warm and like gooey. I don't like the the cheese and the peanut butter is not it. Really? Not it. Elvis would turn over in his grave. It's one of his favorite meals. Who? Elvis? Well, well I mean. He would fry it. What do I got to like everything Elvis likes? I mean, he's kind of the coolest. Do you not like Elvis? Are you not an Elvis fan? I'm actually not. I don't like Elvis. I don't like anything about Elvis. I don't like his music. I don't like his whole fucking attitude. And I certainly don't like the food he likes. Let me guess. You're a Beatles fan. Huge Beatles fan. I think they suck. They're literally the four dancing Elvises. That's all they well, are. Well, I feel like you, if you say the Beatles suck, you you objectively have bad taste. I don't like their attitude. I don't like that they think they're, they're better than God. I don't like that they don't believe in God. You're talking about like John Lennon? I'm talking about all the Beatles. Well, I think John Lennon's the only one that said that they're bigger than God. They all corroborate with it. I don't like To be them. honest, they kind of are bigger than God. I think God is <laughs> the biggest. Okay, name one song he's made. Everything, everything the Beatles made, that's God. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Exactly. You. Thank you. Oh, I love when I win again. Well, that you. that means he made. Well, if <laughs> God made every music, then that means he made um, Creed. Ooh. Oh. So, question I, his question is Creed. Creed. I think Creed. I think Creed is one of those bands that's just cool. <gasps> you like it? I'm just fat. I'm honestly just fat. That's so not true. Because I'm fat enough. If I don't like something, I won't eat it. That's not me. I, I mean. No, that's not true. Okay, let's watch this. <laughs> you gotta like go. Just, I don't want to keep biting. This is the eating part. Let's get it out of the way. Hmm, it's better that time. Mm. You have to. I think you had it too hot, so you weren't tasting it properly. Hmm. So anyway, they <laughs> when everyone started de uh, smashing on him, he disabled likes and comments like a little bitch. That's crazy. You're a drama channel, bro. You can't do that. It's insane. Also, Here's an example of some of the comments that he was uh, erasing. Let's see. They were saying, 
I wish you would have come to me personally about it. As a friend, seeing someone literally break down in tears after a disgusting monster picks her apart with such hatred online, why didn't you think to ask if she's okay? Mm. Boom. Headshot. The fact that Lizzie gave a better apology than either Shane or Rylan speaks volumes to people. She, she looks in the camera yeah. and she's giving like, and also I don't really know her. I met her one time. I don't know anything about her. I have nothing against her. But she looks I, in the camera giving an apology and then right after Shane, Rylan's like, all right, well. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> She was like, you know what? I'm sorry we had Jeffrey on. Because oh, did she it, say that? I didn't yeah. get that part. No, she actually was really nice. She's like, I'm really sorry we had Sh Jeffrey on and that we did something to hurt Trisha's feelings because I really like her and I feel like I feel very regretful. And then he goes, okay, moving on. You know what's crazy? Yeah, what's crazy? I'm going to just say this one more time to reiterate and drive it home. Like, Jeffrey Starr has tried to apologize to me like a couple times throughout the past year, right? And I don't accept it because I heard he continued to talk shit. But, but regardless, he did try to apologize, which is more than Rylan or Shane. They never apologized. They were always like, well, I wish you would have come to us. I wish you would have never once said, I'm so sorry. Deflection, like, always. It's insane. It's so insane. Even here by Jay, this like crazy ass person was like texting me. was like, hey, I apologize. Like, So Jeffrey apologized. Like last year, like for a couple months. Here by Jay apologized. Shane and Rylan. Nope. <laughs> the empaths. Uh, girl, I, you should have talked to us before you took it online. It's, I apologize to Shane for things that I didn't even do. I'm like, apologize. Like, it's insane. <clears throat> so you announced you're taking a break from social media. How long did that take? Well, maybe oh, I really did want to. But here's the thing. People you said here. I blame you, actually. Really? Um, and okay. yeah, I am I actually going to probably so take well. a break for like, <laughs> I don't know, like a week, and I'm taking a week off from posting on YouTube and probably just any social medias. So um, I think you posted so, an hour after that announcement. I think it was like a day. A day? I blame. How was your break? No. You know what? I wasn't going to be online. I wasn't going to be online. Guess what? Who get a, I get a WhatsApp from somebody, and guess who that WhatsApp is from? Ethan saying, did you see this? And then I go the fuck off because you are the one who sent it to me. You got to know what's going no, on. No, I said on TikTok, hey, just don't send me anything, anybody. And then three hours later. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting my messages from TikTok. Well, apparently you are. There's my TikTok right there. Dude, you post like a hundred TikToks a day. Anyone that watches every single one needs a fucking lie with peace and love. It's way too much for any person to consume. Maybe you need to watch it. James Charles in the biggest twist of the century. He says, it's so liberating when people finally start to see what you've been seeing all along. And I said, holy shit, is this a turned into a pro-James, mm. well, anti-Shane podcast? I don't know if we're pro-James. Yeah, fuck them all. Let God sort them out. Mm. But remember when I was talking shit about James when he did the Teddy Fresh, he stole your Teddy Fresh this time? Mm -hmm. When that was all happening, Shane was talking to me. He'd come over and be like, did you know he also stole this makeup look from a palette? So then when I came on front of me, I was all fired up. I was like, yeah, mm. you know what? He also stole this makeup look. I couldn't give a fuck about James Charles before all this. Like, I didn't know anything mm. about him. But he ingrained it in my head that this guy was, like, awful. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Because, like, that's what I do. But like, you hurt. Like, what did you say on the last show? Like, if you hurt one of my friends, then I'm fucking coming for you, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't care about James at all. And then I was just like, but he was, like, feeding he was me this using shit. you. Oh, for sure. Even when I was mad at David, he'd always be like, oh, like, David's a sociopath. Did you hear this clip from this audio? But, like, obviously, I'm not going to bring it up because I don't give a fuck. But I was just like, what a weird. Anyways, whatever. Whatever.